Hello everyone, welcome back to The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. So last time we played as Isaac and the game massively, massively, massively trolled us. So today we're going to play Cain and we're going to fight Mega Satan. Hopefully. I don't know, I can't guarantee these things. Anyway, here's the seed. Cain has the lucky foot, which is a slight luck up. He has one less heart than normal. He starts with a key. He might be slightly faster. He has diminished range. He only shoots tears at one of his, at one of the, at one of his eyes, which has an effect on certain tiers, like say anything that's, you know, five, eight, half your shots because that's the half that comes out your face. I don't know. Half that comes out your face. I don't know what I'm trying to say here. Anyway, despite how much of a bad idea this is, I'm taking this. We're going to get a tiers way up, but our range is terrible. But it was already terrible, so you know. I got very lucky both times. Oh dear. I could die. Yeah. Okay, never mind. That was a really bad start. We will take this new seed. It's much shinier and nicer. So yeah, some of the tier effects that affect like certain eyes, you know, his will be a 50% chance rather than every other tier. Which is fine. We'll get over that. Kind of sucks that we lost that hi hi Hierophant card though. Oh well, we're fighting Sloth. He's a bit better. Pride in a very narrow room though is a terrible thing. Two diamonds will double our money, so I'll save that for a rainy day. Alternatively, I'll save it until I find money. But um, tsh. So yeah. Uh, still, uh, still recording from last episode. Still freezing cold from walking the dogs in the rain. Still freezing cold in general. Don't know why. I mean, come on. Why is it so cold? The rain has uh, the rain has dried off my body. I should I should be warmer now. All right. Uh, we also have the paperclip trinket, which allows us to open golden chests for free. And I don't want that. I mean, I know it's a massive tears up, but I don't like that item. What it does is it suspends your tears in the air and then you can either choose to fire them all at once or enemies walk into them or they'll just eventually decide to go. So no good first item room. That's really a bad thing. Really a bad start. Ah, get away from me, monster. You're trying to kill us all! Anyway. So, against my better judgement, I'm gonna go open this golden chest. Wherever it may be. I was kinda hoping that would be the secret room. It's not, but hey, lots of money for the first floor. So what I could do is I could open the shop, see if it's something I want, and then double my money if it is. That's pay to play. Um, don't really need it. I might buy the soul heart in the end though, but I'll save this just in case I get a bomb. I can blow him up. Maybe I can get more money. And now I wish I'd use my bomb on that. And by now, I mean... I immediately regret my decisions. Spawn a bomb. But this is why you wait. This is why you wait. Give me more money. So we ideally want to not get devil rooms. We want to get an angel room as early as we can so we can fight the statue. The angel statues. Get the key PCs. Fight Mega Satan. It's all good. It's all exactly what we need. I have hiccups. Gonna get a ball of bandages or a cube of meat, which will orbit around us, do contact damage, and also block tears for us. Because it's a nice guy. Very friendly. And he's gonna spawn enemies over rocks, because he's a bit of a jerk. But if we trick him like that, he'll go kill them for us. Wee. Ah. That 
time I made him hit me by accident. That was a dumb way to take damage and I will probably die now. Clearly I need the ability to block tears. Luckily there is a red heart nearby. Okay, so we'll take the ball of bandages. I need to go get that red heart. I need to go buy that soul heart. I'd really rather not be buying the soul heart. I'd rather have it. I'd rather be buying a bomb. Buy a bomb to get a key. No, buy a bomb to get soul hearts. Much better trade if you ask me. But there's not a whole lot I can do about that. So we'll take this. Of diamonds. I was kind of hoping that could be a two of diamonds. So what we could do is we could go see the devil on this floor. And if it's bad. Unfortunately it's not bad, it's actually very good. In fact it's so good that I'm taking it because fuck my plans. But we've got to take it in a very specific way. So we need to take this so we have another orbital around us. Blocks. It does massive, massive damage. I think it's like 15 or something. And we'll take this, replace these, all our black hearts. I mean, all our red hearts with black hearts. Damage up, fear shot. And we look pretty fucking badass, if you ask me. And I know you did. I heard you. I'm listening. Tinted rock. Two diamonds. We can double our money yet again. So we will do the same thing. We'll save it for the next floor. Would have liked to be able to get both tinted rocks, but hey. I think things turned out pretty well, all things considered. So Curse of the Unknown, I can't see my health, so I'm going to hold on to anything. I don't think that could be the secret room, because there's no way I can access it. So what I might want to do is let enemies run into me. But I think we'll be fine. Whoa, nearly walked into fire. That would have been a bad thing. That could be the shop up there, actually. I mean, if it's a library, I'm not going to say no. Remember, we don't have any red hearts. Yeah, I will take the starter deck. So, two diamonds. So now we will only get cards or runes. We can hold two. And I got a death card. I'm also going to buy the bomb because I need bombs. So maybe I'd like a health up because I'm all right for damage. And a health up would mean I could maybe get another devil room. Gold head would be amazing. The bombs are real. Right, that's the sacrifice room. If we had enough health, I would play that to get my angel room item. I mean, my angel room key. But I really don't have enough health and I don't have a way to generate health. But that's how we'll probably do it later. So we'll take boom for remote bomb detonation. Detonation. Kaboom. That's not secret me, either. And it, hey, so these will not blow up until I press space. Like so. Two more keys. Fantastic. An odd place for a secret room, honestly. I was expecting, like, another room to be over here. So I really should take time and shoot all the poop. But I'm lazy. I'm very lazy, in case you didn't know. Monstro, yeah, I'm just gonna kill all your friends. So what I could do is get in super close with the knife and let it do my dirty work. Take Steven, I'd rather not, but it's so that I don't see him in a room I don't want later. Oh dear. So we'll take the lump of coal, our tears do more damage the longer they're on the screen. Put myself in position, boom! And down we go. Pretty good, I say. How are we doing for time? Curse the unknown still can't see my health, so I might enact the curse of I haven't seen my health for two floors and therefore I'm going to die very soon. 
That's a very real curse. In fact, it's a curse uh, unique to my Let's Plays. And the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth, in particular. The Fool will teleport me back to the spawn room, which if I see like maybe a sacrifice room or something, I could use that to get in and out quite easily. Little Steven is a familiar, he fires homing shots. He's a nice guy, I like him. You should too. Okay, I sh really shouldn't tell you who to like and not like. You can like whoever you want, it's okay. That was a pretty good way of doing that though. Alright, here's everything I ever wanted. Ah, itchy nose. Must not take hands off keyboard when you have itchy nose. Actually, that is how you fix the itchy nose problem, but it's usually how you die in the process. Um, I can't get pills, so there's no point in taking the PhD, so I'll take even more options for double item rooms. So, item rooms will always have two pedestals and I can pick one. The other one will vanish after I pick it up. And I don't really want either of these, but I will take key bum. Because he'll take keys and maybe give me chests. I don't know. The only reason I'm taking him is the possibility of getting the super bum transformation. Which requires you to get three different kinds of bums. A uh, regular bum friend, dark bum, and key bum. So remember, our tears do more damage the longer they're on screen. So we want more range, ideally. Uh, that's a, a mysterious paper. It drops. It, it gives you a random paper trinket effect. So like Polaroid, negative, something else, but only only if you have the required thing you need for it. So in other words, it won't activate Polaroid Invincibility unless you have half a red heart or less. I'm doing so well with my words, you're stealing my keys, you dick. Admittedly, I knew he was going to do that, which is why I was hesitant on taking him so early. I mean, maybe we should go to the dark room if he's going to take my keys. Oh wait, I don't need to worry about chests actually, because I have the lockpick. Assuming things don't go horrifically tits up. Oh, thank you for all the tear blocking. Just keep doing that and we'll be peachy keen. Mine! Hurdy gurdy. Gurdy wordy. Oh, that was just unfortunate. Oh well, take the dog food. Maybe I'll get something nice at the silver room. Like, uh, yeah, another damage up and a tears up. Pact is good. I like the pact. Well, now I'm back at Polaroid Invisibility. So I'm just going to... Did I... S no, I took everything I wanted at the shop. So we might as well just leave. It's like, do I want anything else? Should I find the secret room? I mean, bombs are getting more plentiful, but... Okay, here's a good use of my full card. Pick up. Goodbye. I won't get any drops for doing that, but I don't care. Because that room is a pain in the butt. What's this? The tower, so it drops a bunch of troll bombs. There's an arcade, which I could play. I do have the lucky foot, so my chances to win are higher. I believe it's more 50% rather than a 1 in 3 chance or something on this gull game. How do I get through? How do I shoot web? Help me. Mine! These are Mackies! Alright, so let's play you a little bit.
You almost killed yourself, friend. Do you have a death wish? Skittle would be good at meaning all the flies would be friendly towards me. Man, if only we had the portable bomb. A bomb. A bomb bum. I can, of course. There is no portable bomb bum. Bomb bum. Boom! Try saying that five times fast. Portable bomb bum. There is actually a bomb bum in the game though. Mine! You can have the keys later. Right now I need them. Alright, I'm done. I don't really care about Skatol that much. I just wanted to get some nice stuff. Alright, this guy. I hate him. He's a pain. He has far too much health. He can dodge really well. Control bombs. And I, I am aware that he picked up a key. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. You can have some keys, not all the keys. I, I am saying it's too early for all the keys. Because I do still technically need some keys. Or, you know, these guys could just take my life. And my land. They can just take me where I cannot stand. Anyone get that reference? Anyone? I hope so. No? Alright, that can't be the secret room. So I'm glad I didn't check there. That was very close. I thought I was going to walk on the spikes in the middle of that manoeuvre. Just kill them all! Unlimited golden bombs. Well, I better make the most of this. It's greed! It's always greed! It's always greed! Why would you expect it to be anyone else? We're running a bit behind for boss rush. I haven't even found the item room. Damn it. I am just hemorrhaging health here. Now are you at the top secret room? Right, I'm gonna hope that the item room's over here. It's not. If you have unlimited bombs, then why not use them? I'm gonna say it's over here. But, you know, I'd rather be doing anything else than searching for this thing. Come on, I've got high hopes for you. More money. Look at all this money that I'm never ever going to be able to use. And also this room that is a pain in the arse. I will just rely on sacrificial dagger and ball of bandages to do my work for me. I don't want either of these. I mean, if I had to pick one that's more useful, I would say lemon mishap. But I don't really want them. I just picked it up so I won't see it again. Okay, good stuff game, good stuff. Thanks for wasting my time and everyone else is at home. They want to see an interesting run. The people demand it. Right. Got it. Give me health and damage. Perfect. Okay, uh, I want everything in here. Okay. One of these will give me double drops. Double everything for the rest of the game. And the other will, when I take damage, give me a chance to get the black uh, get a black heart by killing enemies with a ring. I'll take this. I could take both, I could be really ballsy, but that'd be a terrible idea, because I would die. Just in case any of you are wondering. 
across the darkness, so I need to put the lights out. And unfortunately, this is worth it. Because I could get some really good stuff from this. None of you spawn black hearts! You have failed me, game! Right, mom hands, goat hand, eh, goat head, goat hand? Goat hands are something else entirely. That's when you've let your feet go to all hell that they've started becoming cloven. No, all devil or angel rooms will be open for the rest of the game and they will all be devil rooms because we can't have angel rooms. We are too devilish. Go ahead would have been much more useful earlier on, but we have it now, so let's not complain. Means that the chance for Dark Bum is real. And there's the black heart that I needed, thanks. Technically profited, I think. I don't know, I wasn't really paying attention to what my health was before. Okay, easy does it, easy does it. Okay, and keep going straight. Damn it. This room was a pain in the butt. I've never seen this room before, but I don't approve of it. I think it's a bad room. That hurts me. And my feelings. But mostly me. Ah. You can have that. You should drop like a little chest or something. Yeah. <laughs> Key bomb is worse bum. Right, it should be pretty fast. Should be pretty fast. Alright, we're just gonna hope and pray that we never have to go this way again. Oh look, there's a tiny one! That's adorable and evil. Ah! Killed one. Kill your friend. all this money hopefully I'll get to use it and if not I can always donate it to the machine yeah this is worth you can have the key dry baby see I wish you were my familiar but I need to take this because I will die without it so dry baby will block enemy tears and when he's blocked enough to do an Economicon effect, he's really good and you can find him in like skulls and such. But I need to take Satanic Bible because that will allow me to regenerate black hearts every six rooms. If I'm going to continue being as low in health as I am, which I apparently am, Come on, you can do it. I was kind of hoping that was the top secret room. Could be the other one, but I'm not going to check. Because I need to find the shop and I need to find it. Well, I've missed boss rush, so there's not really a rush. Hi, can you stop? Oh dear. Thanks. That was kind of lucky. Not gonna lie. This room is a nightmare. It's everything I hate about this world.
Oh yeah, I don't have the thingy anymore. Alright, so I could get bulga bombs or something that would make my flies and other eight flies bigger. Need to remember I don't actually have the thingy. Take the nickel and just start donating money, I suppose. Oh, because I want to keep this topped up. I can hold two sets of cards. So we got enough for the shop and the next one. Especially since the machine just doesn't want my money. It's like, shut up and take my money. No! Your money is not good enough here. I'll take the placenta, so hopefully I can trade it away immediately. For Death's Touch! See, immediately a better run. Alright, Judgment is a good card. In fact, if I take it to the next... Eh, to the chest, I can get an extra item from that. I'll take the Stars cards as well. So yeah, I'm happy with that. Immediately find the item room? Hell yes. Curse of the Blind, so I can't see the map. I want this one. Cancer! So HP up and it's an on hit wafer. So I take damage. I won't take any more damage for the rest of the room. So what are you? Temperance. Blood bank. A blood donation machine. Uh, Death's touch is basically piercing tears. And it's really good. It's amazing actually. You should heal Death's touch for it will end you. So when I take damage, everything should then only do like half a heart damage for the rest of the room. Yeah, I'm not coming back this way. And yeah, I want to get rid of this floor curse because screw the curse of the blind. Just screw it. Gotta remember that I have that judgment card. Might forget it. It's greed! It's always greed! But this means greed's not in the shop, so it's not always greed! Oh my god! Look at all this money that hopefully I'll be able to use. Anything good in here? It's greed! It's always greed! It genuinely is always greed! Hang on, I thought if you fought greed once in the floor, you shouldn't be able to fight him again. Are you saying that I could fight greed like three times on the same floor? Like I could actually find him in the shop? That's not how this game is supposed to work. I'm pretty sure of this. You were heading a ways away. The magician is homing tears. I would rather take the homing tears. Because they'll be useful. They'll be more useful to me. Alright, what are you? You are the two of spades. Double my keys. The lovers don't need it. The lovers. Man, I just need to make these net make these scythes bigger. And spectral. Really? That really hit me? Come on. Sorry, key bump. Should leave you some keys. So we should go to the chest. Bomb! Doing for time? Terrible. Fighting hush? Unlikely. Gigantic Camel Champion. Perthro is a reroll. What was this? Magician. Yeah, I'd rather have the reroll. Reroll something that I don't like? Sure. Another judgment. Two of hearts. Perfro. Yera. 
Okay. Use this. What I should do, actually, is pick up the Bible so I don't see it again. Put it back down. Use this again, and then reroll that. And this will just be a bunch of cards. Emperor, Empress, Hermit, Temperance. Hang on, do I have two judgments? I don't have two judgments. Those are. Yara, yeah. Right, got the judgment, got the Yara. Remember, it doesn't do any more damage to us after the foot stomps. So when we get a chance, we should immediately run in with the tears. But don't run under the foot like I almost just did. Oh, okay. So, I'm gonna take both of these. So this is just free black hearts, soul hearts, yada yada. This is Empty Vessel, which as long as you don't have any red hearts, you can fly and you also get like a shield every... I want to say 40 seconds, but I don't know. As long as it's a fighting room. That's what you got for beating Hush as Lazarus. Curse to the Lost, I can't see the map. Perfect, but we can fly now. And we also have a ton of black hearts, for better or worse. Magician. Okay, so we just, we don't need to explore, we just need to hopefully find everything we want and need. There's really no benefit into going inside that curse room. Okay, now we have the shield, so we can be like, yo. Can't hurt him yet. Can't hurt you now. Come here. Kinda wanted to go in while I still had some invincibility. So yeah. It's all good. It's all good, good, good. Which way do I go? Destruction. I don't really need that. I'll play you, because I have all this money that I'm never ever going to be able to use. And I'm not going to find the... I'll lose this, but I can trade it away immediately and get it back. So remember, we can't fly for the time being, but we can fly eventually. I literally just said we can't freaking fly. That's the uh, first thing you immediately start doing. Think you can fly. Like a big dumb silly web. And yet you make a normal sized champion. I had a bomb drop, but I really don't care that much. Take the batteries. Still holding out for Dark Bomb. Like, Dark Bomb would just guarantee that I will be fine. That was totally worth it because I really hate dealing with those things. You can have that. I need to really remember to leave him keys. I mean, I could play that. Actually, no, I can. I can play that because on hit wafer. Uh, 
So I should do this. So now it's an angel room. I'm teleported to the angel room. So we need to fight the statue. Hopefully it's the red one. It is. Perfect. Unfortunately that means I'm going to take full heart damage when I start playing that thing again. But that's fine. Take my black heart. Really? Really, buddy? That's what you really want to do to me? That's fine. Keep his two. Perfect. This will be worth it. I'll definitely be fine. Especially if I get a soul heart. This might actually be worth my era. But it's not. Oh dear. Don't be blown out the room. And there's my key. I can fight Mega Saiyan. Do you know I've gotten an angel room item for that though? I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to get an item. Where's my item? Perfect. I need to restock up on some soul hearts. Guppy's tail for even more chest drops. Perfecto. Chariot, don't need. So as long as we get some good stuff in the chest, hell, we don't even need that much to be honest. We already have a good run here. We definitely have a good run here. You can have that. Give it to me in the next room. Or not, because you're a jerk. Come on. Kill the pins. Are you the top secret room? Nope. Yo. Now the only trouble is I won't be able to trade my health away in this room. Hey, in this devil room because it's an angel room. That's fine. We'll trade it away next floor, then we'll get our ability to fly back and we will fight Mega Satan and things will be fine and dandy. We just need to survive. Surviving isn't difficult, just I make it harder than it is. It's a rather poetic statement when you think about it. Give me chests. Come on, I got a guppy tail. Uh oh. Getting better at being patient with these rooms. Sure, Tammy's head is nice, but I don't need it. Actually, does this cause spinning scythes? Oh, that's beautiful. But I need to survive. If I'd known that was one that had items in it, I could have, like, you know doubled it and gotten more items, but I'll be fine. Ah! Unlimited golden bomb! Instead we will take this damage up, which we do need. Alright, so I thought I was smart and any good at this game. I would try and find like a half heart, right? And I would play this. But I'm not sure I can. So we'll see if we can get maybe any keys and such. Our little buddy could give us stuff. The moon. And in case no one want, it knows why I say it like that, it's because the game says it like that. The moon. Sounds so cool. Give me half red heart. So penny tears, we now can cause some pennies to drop when we hit enemies. Useful early game, but this late, not really. But I dare say it's a bit useless. 
Come on, I'm keen. I should have a better gambling chance than this. He was. Uh. He was. No, not a, not a ladder down. I have regeneration, so it doesn't even matter what my plan was. All right, in that case, we might as well just go. I mean, I could play him, see if I get Skatol. Let the key bomb. Nope, you're dead. Goodbye, you are dead. Well, at least the game isn't trolling me as hard as it was last time. I mean, last time it trolled me pretty damn hard. Take another health. Thanks. I really need to trade my health away to the devil though, because we it will be in actual trouble if we can. There you go, buddy. There you go, buddy. There you go now, buddy. Look at all this money. I can't get rid of it. You the top secret room? Nice. Unfortunately, you're that one. I nearly dropped my tea all over my computer. That would have been smart. And by smart, I mean dumb. I remember, I'm holding out for a dollar until the morning light. Keep spawning your shit, man. Perfect. I need to trade away all my health. Of course. Of course. I don't know why this game doesn't like me. I treat it well. You know, I play it. So, we have red hearts that we can't exactly get rid of. We have Curse of the Maze. We do a lot of damage, but that's not really gonna help us, you know, avoid death. Halgaz, just, just use it. Halgaz. Didn't I try to go into like a challenge room? I'm pretty sure I tried. I must have been imagining things. For some reason I thought I went down into a challenge room. No red hearts? It's only gonna cost me half heart to go in. Full heart to get out. Terrible. Terrible. Open you. Soul heart. Much neat. I'm not opening you. No. So look at those shares. Look at looky. Thanks, he's so looky looky. And yeah, if I had to pick a Loki, I would pick this game's Loki over the Marvel Universe one. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, he's a good villain. I just think this one's far cuter. I mean, look at the... He has such a goofy little grin. Ah! Where are my black hearts at? Okay, I'll take this. Chance to just absorb tears outright instead of taking damage from them. I'll have that. Temperance, put it down, blow it up. See all this money? I'm never ever going to be able to use it.
I still don't even have brilliant range. Now, in case anyone's wondering what I believe my chances are for fighting Satan, unless we get a lot of health and some really good items, it's not pretty, it's not that good. I mean, he could drop soul hearts. Then again, I'm just saying that because he's blue. Blue guys should drop hearts. Which they sometimes do. I was going to say, but he didn't, but then I saw it. And then I saw this thing. Damn it. I did hear a heart drop though. So that helps a little bit. I mean, I think I'm paying off, but I'm losing more health than I'm actually gaining at this rate. Nope. Could play him, but I don't trust my spike walking ability. Greed heads! It's always greed! Just use it. That's the end of this path, unfortunate. I don't think I've seen a single tinted rock in a while. Oh dear, this room sucks. But I should get a soul heart back. Don't make me a liar, game. Yeah, you didn't make me a liar. Okay, we should only be taking half hearts of damage now. Up here we go. Get as much range as I can on these tiers. Ah! Got you. Perfect. Let's head on to the chest. Curse of Darkness. Perfect. Right, so I have a judgment who I'm going to put down here and blow up and I'm gonna double all these chests nine items this does not look promising all right tooth shot is good this will allow me just to stand in place at, and my orbitals can kill things for me this is spider revenge, so if I take damage, then I will throw, uh, you know, drop spiders. This is a speed and a range up. It's not actually a range up, but it's close enough. It's a shot height up, which means that it's actually a range down for like a Zazel or something. I'll just take everything. Pills are better. Except I don't get pills, I get cards. And Leo. Oh dear. Bob's rotten head. We are probably not going to survive long enough. I mean, I want to see if I can make some health. But we made it for that life. I can do this room. Don't stop moving. Don't stop moving. Find your own way to it. Oh god. That is a dated reference if I've ever made one. If I've only ever made one dated reference, then that is definitely it. And I ran into Monstro because I'm a big dumb idiot. 
But you know what? Let's try this standstill stat. I picked a terrible enemy to do the standstill stat on. Or maybe not. Stop. Okay, more chance of soul heart drops. Perfect. Stand still, that standing. I can't even. Yeah, I can't actually attack that guy from where I am. I tried. Never let it be said I didn't try. Could get some health ups, which I would honestly take right now. More soul heart soul, good. I will go back for the battery. I know it's there. Piercing tears, man. Piercing tears. Hey look guys, it's greed. It's always greed. Ling in the life here. And the question is, should I fight Blue Baby? And I kind of want to keep going just to find more stuff. Stand still. Oh! The timing on that! Can't touch me, man! Okay. Fire and across it based on luck. Oh, there's the boss. More soul hearts, perfect. Or are you? Not good. Alright, let's take care of Blue Baby real quick. We've got a lot of good stuff on this floor, actually. Kind of hoping we could maybe get some black hearts from that Afame, but it was not meant to be. Alright. Lost a bit too much health for my liking, so keep finding more. Stand still. Pull me. Whee! That's funny. I'm gonna use the standstill strat for getting my health back. But this room should be fine. If I get too badly hurt against these guys, then clearly I have done something horribly wrong. Magnet, don't really want... Ah. I doubt it's gonna hurt me at this stage. Basically just draws items to me. I'm picking it up because I don't actually know if I've ever picked it up before. We can get at least one more charge. Oh dear. Alright, don't stop moving. Don't stop moving. Don't stop moving. Don't stop moving. Perfect. I'll get this destruction. Don't care. And that's a teleport, but I don't need it. Alright, ready? Let's go. Kane versus Mega Saiyan. I mean, I could stand still, don't get me wrong, but... That strikes me as cheap. And we're not doing that. So we'll try and stand as far away as we can. All your money is mine. Hey, what were you throwing though? You could have hit me! Alright. Half hearts are active. Oh, 
We are firing tears occasionally. They're kind of explosive. Good. Alright, back up. To Oops, went too close. Hey, Envy! Watch him split! Split and weave, split and weave. Wish I had something that made my feet tougher. Gotcha. All right, back to me. Get some angel damage. Hurt me more. Careful. Alright, your turn again. You should almost be down out of the phase. Oh, that was cheap. I mean, I know you could do that attack, but seriously, man. It's not fair on me. Don't do that. So we never did get the empty vessel back up, but it was nice while it, while it lasted when we had it. Careful. Bullet hell. And this one might be harder to avoid. I avoided it. And I did it! Calling it! And that is Mega Satan done with Kane. So the picky baby has appeared in the basement. The green baby has also appeared in the basement. And that's going to do it for this episode of The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth, guys. So as always, if you enjoyed, please let me know by liking or commenting on the video. And subscribe if you haven't already to see more episodes. Till next time, I've been my from Cicel. This has been The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. Take care of yourselves. See you in the next episode. Bye!